Hey guys, it's Rose. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Hearts Island again, so you know that means we're doing another interior speed build today. A shameless plug. If you are interested in seeing how we built this living room, I will link the speed build in the description so you can watch that as well. But for now, we're going to go into a side room so that we can actually build an office today. I build a lot in Animal Crossing, so I really wanted a space to put my workbench and a space that looked like crafty and that I could like make a gaming area. So this space is gonna be all of that in one. So the first thing I'm doing is grabbing a bunch of white furniture. I love the white bookshelves. A lot of the furniture that I'm using is white wood, white iron, and white birch from the log bench furniture. That, I pretty much stick to the same color scheme in all of those furniture sets so that my room looks really cohesive when it's built. First, I am placing all of the wood bookshelves, and this is such a cute DIY. I love the little bookshelves, and I feel like it would just be perfect in a little study room. I also picked a spot to put my workbench along with a little stool in front of it. I know that you have to kind of put it to the side so you can still use the workbench, but I thought that would look really cute to have a little stool in front of it. I also used a log shelf so that I could put a TV above it because I wanted one side to have like a TV and then the little switch gaming item so that I had a little area for gaming. I used, also used this Nook silk rug, which I thought was super, super pretty and looked very like earthy. So I definitely wanted to use it for this room. My vision for this room was kind of like very earthy and a lot of plants everywhere. Um, I knew I wanted to go with a darker wall and or a darker floor and then like a really pretty decorative wall. It was taking me a while to find one, but then I remembered there's one from the Bug Off that I actually liked. Like, who would have thought an item from the Bug Off that I actually liked? But <laughs> that butterfly wallpaper is so pretty, I had to use it. And I thought this room would be the perfect space for it. I just feel like it looks so like earthy and cozy in here once it's all done. Um, I ended up also getting a bunch of log chairs out that matched the couch so that I could put them on either side because I felt like there was a lot of empty space so I might as well make it look like a very comfy area. And then I started grabbing some items from the miscellaneous section and I think these are just basically like little things that go that sit on top of furniture items like decorations and clutter stuff so i got a little sewing box and that sewing kit and i thought that would be really cute to have like a little crafting area and then that lamp is one of my favorite lamps in the game i feel like i've used it in every single speed build in my house so far <laughs> i just think it's so cute and it goes with everything So I'm pretty much really liking the way that this is looking so far. I added a switch and then I added a TV. So I had a little sitting area and as well as a work table area. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I always have the hardest time with doing my walls. Like I always feel like I have such a hard time. Maybe I don't have enough items. Maybe I need to like go catalog some wall items because 
I feel like I never have enough stuff to decorate my walls, and paintings are very expensive to buy on Nookazon. Even the fake ones, people are like, I will charge you 30 Nook Mile tickets for a fake painting. And I'm like, what the? People are crazy on Nookazon. You guys use Nookazon? I used to use it all the time, and now I feel like I basically have everything I want, so I don't really use it all that much anymore. But some people really set some crazy prices on there, I feel like. So now I'm going down into the plants and just adding a ton of like white and brown potted plants so that it looks very like earthy and natural in there. I don't know, I just, I just felt like that would look really pretty with the butterfly wallpaper to have a bunch of plants everywhere. I also felt like I wanted another rug. This lacy rug I believe is from Sahara. So I put that under the work table to make it look more like crafty and I think it fills up the room a little bit more as well. I also realized that on top of a wooden stool you could place like pillows and cushions and stuff. So I thought the white stool with the white rug looked a little bit too like neutral. So I added a little mom's cushion on top. I'm adding some more uh, wall items just to fill up the space and like make it look a little bit more cluttered. Cause like I said, I wanted this room to look really like crafty, well lived in and really cluttered. I also added a rattan trash basket and a broom and dustpan because I thought an office would just, I don't know. I don't know why. Office doesn't usually have cleaning stuff, but I just thought that would, it would look cute in there. Like you like would like do some sewing and then need to clean it up, I guess. I don't know. I just thought it looked cute. <laughs> So you guys, this is pretty much the finished look and I show you the whole room in with the lights on and then also how it looks in the dark. But I realized that Harv's Island room, some of the rooms are a lot bigger than the ones in your actual house. So I'm taking you back to my house so you can see what it looks like as well in my actual house. I did have to make a couple of extra items um, that I didn't have in storage and kind of customize things to my liking before I was able to make the finished room. And I felt like I used so many mom's items in this room because they're just like perfect for a little office and crafting room. They just all look so cute. But this is the final room in my actual house and here is what it looks like with different lighting as well. I actually left the lights off in this room because I feel like it just looks so cozy. Like I want to go here and watch a movie on a rainy day. But that's pretty much the entire video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!